1930s um, is the most important decade of the 20th century. And I say that in terms of both politics and aesthetics. Um, the Great Depression changed everything for Americans. They lost their self-confidence. They were no longer the bright and shining city on the hill. They had the, a great fall from grace, and people were scared. There was much social protest. You had the rise of communist ideas and the rise of fascist ideas. Democracy wasn't working. We have to do something else. We have to change things. And artists showed those things. The regionalists, Thomas Hart Benton, John Stuart Curry, Grant Wood, all painted Midwestern scenes to revive the past and make that the American future. Well, that was impossible. After the 1920 census showed that we were no longer a nation of small farmers. We were an industrialized nation. More people lived in cities than lived in rural areas. Movies were a huge deal in the 1930s because they were cheap and you could spend a quarter and go in and watch uh, movies 24 hours a day. And Edward Hopper often did. New York movie is a picture that I think captures the mood and the quality of realism versus what's unreal of the Depression 30s beautifully. From social realism to regionalism to abstraction, all of these things were going on at the same time. And so we want our audience to see what was happening in the 1930s so they could understand the richness of thought in this decade. As you listen to the band, don't you get a bubble? As you listen to them play, don't you get a glow? If you step out on the floor, you'll forget your trouble. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now if you'll get your hand up, I want you to get with your group partners and, um, and get your journal, and I want you to uh, answer the first question, and it is, what do we know? What do you know about the artist or the time period? Number one, right? Then number two, what do you want to find out? Is there something you want to find out about the artist or the time period? Is there a question about the style? Uh, and then number three, what we've learned about this artist or the time period. Okay, and this is a two-day project. You'll get together with your group, uh, compile your information, and then tomorrow you'll give a presentation in front of the class. And then next week will be the painting portion of the project. And that's it. Okay, let's get started. Thanks.